What's up, Mia? <laughs> hey, just getting ready to go out. Had to check up on my partner. If only you were a silent partner. <laughs> Picture that. Another migraine? Yeah. Well, you know, I can, I can call Dr. Nelson, get you an appointment if you need something. Nah, I mean, I won't be back in LA for weeks. Oh, well, I can ask her if she can recommend somebody in Miami. Thank you, but I would be okay. I mean, plus, Kira can handle that if I really need it, but I do sincerely appreciate your concern. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't have you dead on me. <laughs> That's only because you're out of my will. Well, I'm RJ's guardian, so I'm good either way. <laughs> but for real though, are you okay? I mean, you get on my last nerve, but you know I care about your well-being. RJ needs you. Yeah, I know, Mia. Thank you. So, how's everything going with production? <sighs> Couldn't be going any worse. I mean, we haven't even started shooting yet, but Banks Media has been paying to host and feed the entire cast and crew for days now. What? That's crazy. Why? <sighs> yeah, uh, even though we've met all of Nicole's outlandish demands, I mean, she still hasn't shown up to set. What? Why? That's a good question. Uh, she keeps sending bogus text responses. She don't pick up the phone when we call. I mean, honestly, Mia, I, mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, Dale is getting antsy because he don't wanna be here to begin with, so he's probably gonna bail any moment. Uh, Danielle's off the show because Nicole said so. The crazy part is, if Danielle was actually on the show, we can start filming, but... This whole thing is just a fiasco. I mean, basically right now we have no female lead. Okay, well just, just replace Nicole. That's what I said. You know Raj is usually right. So hopefully they listen to me because when I tell you production costs us through the roof, ooh wee. I mean, having a COVID test everyone daily. I don't even know the girl, so it's not Raj's fault, but. I can't imagine the Banks board being happy about this when it's all said and done. What's Nicole's number? Okay, I can talk to her actress to actress. Mia, you're not an actress. And neither is she, but... Anyway, don't worry about it. I have a meeting set with Chelsea and her team first thing in the morning. We'll figure it out. Chelsea and her team? Yeah, the owner of the show that's quickly self-destructing? I mean, did you not pick up on anything I just told you? Well, I didn't get an email, Roger. Oh boy, see, this is exactly why my head is hurting. I'm not about to go through this again with you, Mia. Roger, look, I'm trying my best, okay, to, to get along for the sake of RJ, but, I would think that in some capacity that you respect my contribution to this company, okay? It. And Nina? stop seeing me as a liability. I'm an I don't asset. Hear it. Do you hear me? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, okay? My goodness. Look, I'll have Kira send you a meeting invite, okay? Thank you. Good night, Mia. Good night, partner. Mm. Yo, what's happening, Romy Rome? Big T, what's good? Yo, uh, you finished the paperwork? Yeah, I just submitted everything. Looks like I'm good to go. Yep, that's all we needed. I had a couple of new forms with the whole virtual learning thing this year. Bro, how do you like it? I can't stand it. <laughs> I just... <laughs> yeah, man, I had to set for a few classes last year. God, I am not a fan either. Uh, were the moms walking around in front of the cameras with their panties on and twerking in the background <laughs> yours too? <All> right. <laughs> nah, man, that's all you. That's a different ballgame out here. Now, the parents are involved. And they got money, so 
you know how that goes. Yeah, well, I look forward to it. How's the staff? I mean, well, you know, it's just a handful of black folks. Uh, and I'm the only black administrator, so we kind of stick together. We got meetings outside of the main meetings with everyone. Okay, well, I don't know why they just didn't give you the job. I already know why they didn't give me that job, man. Is that why you grew your hair out? Rocking the rose now? Exactly. I, I tried doing it their way. I kept my hair cut low. I was buttoned up. But no matter what I did, I was still a black man. So I've embraced it. I'm going all black on them. Hey, no holding back, huh? Exactly. No code switching, no nothing. I'm going to be like the amplified version of Dana in these meetings all year. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's black. <laughs> yeah. hey, I got your back, though. It's an election year, too. Hey, bro, if they ain't uncomfortable, we ain't doing it right. <laughs> I talked to Janelle. Oh, here you go. I figured you couldn't wait to tell her the news. That girl ain't thinking about you, man. Nah, she ain't thinking about you. I mean, look at me, bro. Like, don't look at me. And she still loves that dude. Yo, scrawny arm. You know what? Just keep hanging scrawny, on. Scrawny, scrawny, you mice can't help the bars. Look at me talking. <laughs> God, you got to talk. You got to talk. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, man. Hey, look. Keep holding on to them dreams, all right? Nah, hey. I could get her back. It would, it would, it would just take a little bit of maneuvering, though. Yeah, whatever. Her and Dale? Nah, you can't touch that. Sad but true. Oh, I know. Believe me. Hey, but look, I got to meet with a divorce lawyer. She actually is a student parent here, but yeah. I got to get ready for that, so I'll just, I'll get at you after the meeting, all right? Nah, sorry to hear about that, bro. That's all good. Just don't get married here. I'm the second Armstrong divorce Parker is helping with this week alone. Now, you know I ain't nowhere thinking about being married. <laughs> you a smart man, then. Uh, hey, but look, hit me if you need anything before then. All right. Oh, but hey, Rome. Yo, what's up? Hey, you remember any of them uh, twerking single mama's numbers from back at your school? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you right now. <laughs> I am single, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, bro. All, all right, right, man. Take it easy. Hey, hey. You busy? Not really just having a salad. Mm. We were slammed earlier today, so this is my first time getting a chance to eat something. Oh, I'm sorry. What you apologizing for? You didn't cause COVID spikes or accidents on the freeway. Nor did you ask every hypochondriac to come to the ER for basically nothing or the countless of other things that has a slam this week. <laughs> No, I didn't. But I might be on psychiatric watch soon, though. Who did it? It wasn't me this time. I I'll kill him dead, though. Where my baby? Not a man. Not directly, anyway. Mm. I got fired. Not from the power company? I thought you told me you quit. From the show, Wes. I told you that, too. Oh, my bad, my bad. You know, this COVID thing kind of messes with your head a little bit. I do remember you telling me about some show with, what was his name? Del De Walker, right? Yep, that's the one. Oh, man, what happened, baby? I don't know. They didn't really give me any answers. You know, in this time, they don't give much notice or tell you anything for that matter, so. That's like so crazy. So just like that, you're out. Just like that. Damn. You, you, you need any money? I'll, I'll wire you some, some money if you no, need some money. No, no, no. Thank you, babe, but I'm fine with money. I could use a shoulder though to lean on. <laughs> Hey, say less. I'll, I'll come through once I get off. I got to go home to do my thorough shower routine from the hospital and then I'll do it once again once I get there. Yeah, I know. I'll run you a hot bath. Hey, <laughs> that baby. Um, hey, man, I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry about your show falling through. 
I really know how much that meant to you. Yeah, I, um, I kind of don't want to think about it, though. My agent texted me and said that he's working on something for me, so we'll see. Okay. Yeah. See you soon, babe. All right, babe. So let me get this straight. Nicole is a no-show, yet production costs are rising as we speak. Is this how all of Jameson's clients conduct business? Look, um, Adam. It's Aaron. She's, oh, it's Aaron. Oh, oh, honest mistake. Um, look, she's only a client as a favor to Banks Media. I've never heard of Nicole Allen prior to this point. Look, look, let's not lose our heads over this. Roger called this meeting so that we can come up with a solution. So what is it? Have, what is she saying, Roger? She's not saying anything. Um, I haven't spoken to her since I got to Miami. Last time she called me was to discuss the whole, uh, you know, Danielle thing. What's this whole Danielle thing? It's a long story, but to keep it short, Danielle is also out. <laughs> Was this a favor for us too? You see, Charles? That's why I'm saying we, we should have never got involved in this whole reality TV business. You know, this is horrible business. Look how unprofessional they are. And you know, this goes against everything that is Banks Media. All you right, cannot right. stand for this. Relax. Relax. Antoine. Um, no, it Stephen is Aaron. A-A-R-O-N. It's I'm a busy man. I'm a busy man. I don't know yet. Look, Steven signed off on this. So, Steven, show me, show me where Steven signed off on it. Show me the picture. Gentlemen, gentlemen, the this back and forth is not helpful, okay? I'm the one that dropped the ball. This is my fault. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's my dad left me with this. Relax, babe, relax, okay? Let's just take a break. I'll send you over a list of names, headshots, individuals on my roster. We'll find a replacement. Thanks, Roger. Look, you gonna be okay? I mean, I hate the fact I'm all the way across the country. I can't be there with you while you're figuring this thing out. Yeah, I'll be fine. So, you know I'm right down the street, like right down the street. So anything you need, I got you. You know, I do need anything, Chuck. All right, now, hold on. Okay. Relax now. Yeah. Relax. All right. Relax, Anthony. So can I at least see? Good job. Hope you're happy. Mm -hmm. Go back to the period. <laughs> so, yeah. Great birthday. Are you sure you can't? Amend the complaint to incurable insanity. I mean, Mich Michelle's definitely that. I have plenty of examples. Oh, Terrence. God. My heart goes out to you and Forrest. God, he's such a sweet kid. Mm -hmm. But I assure you, she can't keep him from seeing you. She just can't take the law into her own hands like that. I am so tired of fighting, Parker. I swear, she can have everything. The house, the cars. I just want my son. Yeah, I know. But your case is really strong. And I see no reason why you can't at least get shared custody. We'll go for full, right? We'll go for full. Yeah. But I have no doubt you'll get shared custody. I mean, especially after that stunt she just pulled. Taking him away without your knowledge or consent, without, I mean, you guys aren't even technically separated. What she did is literally criminal. Parker, I don't know what I'd do without you. You're like the nicest parent. 
but a shark in the courtroom. <laughs> and I only had to clean out my bank account to afford you, but now you're worth every penny. Oh, thanks. Well, I do what I can. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as your attorney, I will make sure you get out of this victoriously. But as your friend, okay, I know, I know, look, I know you have like a long six months ahead of you until you're divorced, but I have somebody I would love for you to meet. <laughs> well, is she as pretty as you? Oh, God. Well, almost, you know. <laughs> I love how you somehow managed to help people dismantle marriages for a living. And you have like the perfect marriage yourself. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, perfect. I would not say perfect. <laughs> it's definitely not that. Oh, my gosh. But, you know, I think part of it is that I think he would know I would just, just annihilate him <laughs> in the divorce. So he doesn't dare, right? <laughs> no, no. I'm sure it has more to do with the fact that, I mean, you're an amazing woman. Yeah. You'd be a fool. Thank you. I really appreciate you. I just was thinking, like, I have, like, the most amazing women in my life. You, Dana, Janelle. You were my friend um, Nicole, right? Nicole. Oh, oh Miss Allen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the uh, teacher slash actress, right? <laughs> yeah, she's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. She has me on this date now. Oh. How's that going? Honestly, it's pretty well. Oh. I mean, with the pandemic, I don't really know how to go about doing the whole dating thing, but... Not bad. All right. Well, like I said, I have a friend. I mean, she would love you. So just let me know, okay? All right. All right. You better be cute. <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> so I understand many of you took issue with how I addressed the class last session. It is what it is, so be it. I mean, honestly, the only thing I have to say is just try being like someone like me, like someone with my accomplishments, someone of my caliber, like try that, like all the pressure that comes with that. And then like you, you give this discounted rate, this discounted opportunity to people who don't even take it serious. Like try doing that. Anyway, with that being said, tonight's class, um, we're gonna break out into groups of two. I was hoping to see more of you guys come to class, but of course they didn't show up. Typical. Um, so I'm just gonna break it up. And what we're gonna actually do, I want you guys to pretend to be your favorite childhood character. And as your character, you know, have a conversation about your last relationship. Um, it can be a character from a storybook, TV show, just a character, you know what I'm saying? Use common sense, people. Um, be yourself, be open, be vulnerable. Um, that being said, Zaire and Princess, I'm going to start with you guys. All right. Okay, bye. Okay. Okay. Hey, Z. <laughs> it's us again. Yeah, you know, me and my favorite scene partner. <laughs> oh, I bet you said it to other ladies, though. Oh, girl, but you know, I, even if I would, I would mean it more when I said it to you. Okay. So what makes me so different? Man, you just put together, you got a little nice little white background with little <laughs> flowers and stuff, girl. You know what I'm saying? You, you nice, girl. You're like a dream girl. Oh, see? You're such a class flirt. No, oh, man. Don't, 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 don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Uh, Yeah, you are. <laughs> I saw you all up in Danielle's face. So. No, nah, you know, I, just, I just like to be nice to everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this exercise. Yeah, um, ladies first. Thank you. Um, okay, so I would describe, I feel like I was like Goldilocks, okay? Um, Goldilocks? Yeah, Goldilocks. Remember that story? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay, okay, okay. So I was, I tried the you know f boy type mm -hmm. that didn't work out okay you tried that on purpose obviously on purpose but not i mean i didn't know he was all that right <laughs> okay okay, okay. We, we fall down well we fall yes we do and i tried the you know the good guy 
sort of corny, a little corny. Oh, like 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 lame lands. Like yes, yes. Okay. okay. Um, I don't, you know. So I'm just looking for somebody in the middle, right? Somebody that's just a little corny, a little cool. The perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you said it right now. Stop. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? And Stop. No, I'm just, you know, I'm looking for the ideal guy. The the, the perfect balance. So, anyway. Yeah, you know, keep your eyes open. He could be anywhere. <laughs> you know? Maybe in front of me, <laughs> through the camera. I ain't saying it. I ain't okay. saying it. You know? I ain't saying it. Okay, what about you? What about you? Me? Uh, definitely no Goldilocks. That's, that's kind of like salt. Uh, I would have been Batman, Batman, because I don't got no superpowers. Regular person saving the hell out of the world. You know what I mean? You throw that signal up, it's your boy. Is that a? That's not a fairy tale, is it? No, no, it's a childhood character. You know what I'm saying? Oh, See, yeah, okay, okay. Pay, pay attention. Rewind. Okay, okay. Slow down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Batman for me. Uh, my last relationship. You know, um. It's, it's in the air. You know what I mean? You watch basketball? Yeah. You know how the game start, right? The ref yeah. just throw the ball in the air. Yeah. That's like life. You know what I mean? It's in the air. It's in the air. Were you, were you saving people or? Uh, I wouldn't say saving. <laughs> uh, I, w- I was a helping. I, w- I was a shoulder to lean on. Uh, you know all right, all right, all right. Let's wrap it up. Okay. It's a hate, little hate in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Was that it? I guess so. Uh, missed the discounted right. price. Um, that was a good job. Um, Zaire and Princess, thank you for tapping into these strange characters. Um, you guys were too excited about this. But that's the type of things that makes a good actor. So you guys did something right for once. You didn't really listen, but it is what it is. For the sake of the exercise, um, you did what you did. All right, uh, Kira is going to be me and you next. Um, Again, don't follow what they did. Create your own character. Be yourself. Um, be vulnerable. A lot more vulnerability would be great. Um, and so whenever you are ready, one, two, three, go. <sighs> you couldn't pair me up with Zaire or anybody? Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, I'll just go first. Um, Nala. I like Nala from The Lion King. She's strong, she's independent, she doesn't like anyone tearing her down and getting in her way. Just kind of like my last relationship, you know, just being bogged down by such negativity and, ugh. She didn't let that get in her way. And I think, like Nala, I'm strong, but I'm also caring. But I don't let people, you know, take advantage of that, so... Mm, okay. anyway, what about you? Um, I'm going to go with Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. Um, reason Buzz being, he, yeah, Buzz Lightyear. Reason being, because he was a leader, as I am leading this class, and you know, leading all of these amazing opportunities that's going to happen once you finish this course. I just hope you guys would friggin' see that. Anyway, um, <laughs> all but right. going off, going off of my last relationship. I mean, I mean, you would know. I mean, this. So, so I'm so surprised you're actually in this class right now. Um, you just. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm surprised that you're in this class, seeing that we had a past relationship. Or yeah, situation. I thought you were okay with that. Listen, darling, I'm okay with it. Wait, I'm wait, wait. Okay. No, 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 no. You don't get to call me. You don't get to call me, darling. Right. My name's Kira. So can I talk? I thought it was my time. I thought this was my class. Of I course. Because if you want to teach, you can teach. You can teach. I probably could teach and do it. Yeah, but, you, you know, teach, you, know be... you know, this is the problem with you. You never listen. When we were together, you never listen. And I thought when we broke up, you would just respect that. And you seemed cool. You seemed chill. So where, how, where's all this aggression coming from? I just don't understand the relation of you trying to say, like, Nala. Like, you're nothing like that at all. You're nothing like Buzz Lightyear. Well, I mean, you do have, like, a starting receding hairline. But, I mean, besides that, I mean. See, see, now you're going off 
off track of the exercise. Um, oh, no, we're off track. Okay, cool. We're, we're done here. Um, all right, guys, come back in. So the point of the exercise was to show vulnerability. And to be honest with you, you guys failed. Like you didn't do the best that you can. Like, for example, Zaya and Princess, you guys were starting to do well, which I, you know, commended you on, but you, you started to get distracted with the character and talking about the character and that that's not the sake of the exercise. And, and Kira, I, you really want to start? Just, just Kira. We just gonna leave that there. Um, so, so did y'all did, did did y'all do a good job? Because I I think we did like kind of what y'all did, but better. If I, from what I would say. Well, if you feel that way, then maybe you should create your own class of teaching. Then you sh you wouldn't be here, correct? You right, big dog. You right. You right, Mister Teacher Extraordinary. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying had because a movie, if, had a TV show. if you do have a class, I'd thing, love to attend your class. I'd, I'd love he's to. Buzz Lightyear. He's a leader. He's gonna lead yeah. to great action. You, you gotta do the leading, right? Now. You, ain't, you ain't really leading. Mm. Okay. Um, is anybody else here today? It's, it's just us. Okay. Um, so what I want you guys to chew on for the next class is we're gonna focus a lot more on more vulnerability because a lot of actors tend to think that they need to act on emotion. They tend that they need to to be sad when they're not sad instead of just you know doing a character breakdown, being relatable and opening up to your scene partner. So that's something to work on for next time. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, not necessarily a question, but Kira, I don't know what happened, what y'all think. Go and keep your head up, baby. You're doing a great job in this class. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know anybody I could, uh, single? I'm, All right. I'm, I'm, I'm researching right now. I got Do you. you have something to say? Because um, uh, I just think, I mean, I can't really be vulnerable if the environment doesn't allow me to be vulnerable. That's my thing. So I need you to create an environment where I can be vulnerable. But I mean, we could talk about that later. Yeah, a more comfortable environment would be great. Yes. But well, you like, know, as long as I'm y'all senior partner, we, we'll be good, ladies. We'll yeah, be good. good. <laughs> all right. So again, that's your homework. I ignored all of that. Um, but that's our homework for next Friday. Same time, same place. Listen, people. For those that brought in certain friends, I need y'all to reach out to them and ask them, are they coming back? Because they're taking up space. I have people that, you know, on a wait list trying to be in this class. Like, you're holding up the process. So, anyway, um, that's my final words on that. You guys, be cool. So, for you, being nervous is being able to pull a woman's hair or choke them just the right amount, not too tight or push them against the wall. Where, where were your nerves in all of that? You know, Morgan, I've never met anyone like you. What do you mean? You say whatever's on your mind, no filter. And when you say it, you mean it. I've never really met anyone like you. I mean, I've been known to be a little too blunt, so if you can't handle it, I mean... Don't change. Please don't change. I love it. I love everything about you. I love... I love you. I love you too.